Thanks for watching. Hello, I am Sri from CBTU. Welcome to the Ethical Hacker Training Course based on CH Certification Program by EC Council. Module 1 Introduction to Hacking, Section EISA, Vulnerability Assessment, and Other Topics. We are going to cover Enterprise Information Security Architecture, that is EISA. Network Security Zoning, that is DMZ, Physical Security Controls, Information Warfare, Vulnerability Assessment, and VA Research Sites. Enterprise Information Security Architecture This is part of Enterprise Architecture focusing on information security throughout the enterprise. EISA is the practice of applying a comprehensive and rigorous method for describing current and future structure and behavior for organizational security process, information security systems, personnel and organizational subunits so that they can align with the organization's core goals and strategic direction. This is often strictly associated with information security technology. It relates to the security practice of business optimization in that it addresses the business security architecture, performance management, and security process architecture as well. Network Security Zoning DMC, that is Demilitarized Zone. This demarcates logically within a networking environment. Zones define the network boundaries and their associated perimeter defense requirements. This is a WAN router, this is intranet, LAN, and this is DMC. Information warfare. This is what we see that is happening between the big James corporations. This involves the use and management of information and communication technology in pursuit of a competitive advantage over an opponent. Information may involve collection of tactical information, false assurances, spreading of propaganda, or disinformation to demoralize and manipulate the enemy and the public. This in summary is the bad propaganda and the denial of the right information and low quality information. Physical Security Controls These describe the security measures that are designed to deny the unauthorized access to the facilities, equipment and resources. This is to protect personnel and property from damage or harm such as espionage, theft, or terrorist attacks. Physical security involves the use of multiple layers of interdependent systems, which include CCTV surveillance, security guards, protective barriers, locks, access control protocols, and many other techniques. Vulnerability assessment. This is the process of identifying, quantifying, and prioritizing the vulnerabilities in a system. Vulnerability from the perspective of disaster management means assessing the threats from potential hazards to the population and to the infrastructure. This may be conducted in the political, social, economic or environmental fields. Vulnerability assessment has many things in common with risk assessment. These are the four assessment steps. Cataloging assets and capabilities, resources in a system, assigning the value or the importance to those resources, identifying the vulnerabilities or potential threats to each resource, mitigating or eliminating the most serious vulnerabilities for the most valuable resources. Vulnerability research sites. These are the few vulnerability research sites. This is the Vulnerability Lab website doing vulnerability research and vulnerability assessments. These are the vulnerabilities listed here. You we'll explore this site for more information. This is the Security Tracker website. Explore this for more information. This is the Hacker Watch website from McAfee and you have the event tracking here. You we'll explore this site for more information. This is the Semantic Vulnerability Research website. Please explore for more information.